Let's face it guys, learning Unreal is not a walk in the park. People compare their learning journeys in Unreal with other software they have learned before. And a lot of them say that Unreal is weird, awkward, complicated, scary and things like this. But at the same time, they love working with it. They are hooked and they cannot just let it go and quit. So what's the deal here? Why is Unreal so challenging and more importantly, how we can handle such a beast without losing our minds. In this video, I don't want to talk about where you can find educational content about Unreal. I'm sure you already know a lot of sources that you can use to learn about the engine. Instead, in this one, I'll try to explain why Unreal is like this and also talk about a couple of mindsets and a strategy that can tremendously help us moving forward in the process of learning Unreal. I've been messing with Unreal for a couple of years and here I just want to talk about what I think about learning Unreal. Hopefully it will shed some light on your journey and help you move forward more efficiently in the process. So let's see why working with Unreal is so fun and sometimes so annoying at the same time. The first reason that comes to mind when we want to understand why Unreal is hard to learn can be the way its UI is designed. There is a lot of stuff thrown at you when you open up the engine and it may look intimidating. But let's be honest here, a lot of other engines and software and applications are like this too. For example, this is how 3ds Max looks when you open it up. This is Blender. This is Cinema 4D and this is Unreal. There is no significant difference in how complicated they look, so I think it's safe to say that UI is not the problem. And honestly, I think Unreal has a pretty decent UI, so it's not the main reason that learning Unreal can sometimes be overwhelming. I think the main challenge with Unreal is that they are targeting a very, very wide audience. Unreal can be used for architectural visualizations, VFX, film and animation, product visualization, training simulations, VR, AR, live broadcast, and of course, game development. Now, what happens when you try to deal with something so huge like this? That's right, you get lost. You get trapped in a maze of YouTube tutorials, online courses, your own trial and errors, and it will at some point get you exhausted. There is just so much to learn. You have got materials and texturing, lighting, camera work, coding with C++ or blueprints, managing audio, optimizing projects, and the list goes on. Learning all of these skills in a short period of time is basically impossible. And if you try, you will definitely fail, which will make you feel bad about yourself. So how should we approach learning something vast and deep like this? I believe the best strategy here is limitation. We need to create boundaries for ourselves and try to learn a specific topic without paying attention to other topics. You need to figure out why you are learning Unreal and what you want to do with it. This will help you focus and not waste time over stuff that doesn't matter to you. For instance, if you are an ArcVis artist and you want to use Unreal for architectural renderings or even walkthroughs, you need to spend most of your time learning about lighting, materials, and rendering. You don't need to focus on something like animating and rigging or even you don't need to understand blueprints completely. As long as you can set up some basic blueprints for your lights and doors and a simple UI for your walkthrough projects, you will be fine. What I'm trying to say here is that you need to resist the temptation to learn everything at once. When you see a tutorial on YouTube or a course on an educational platform and it's not targeted towards what you need, just don't click on it and move on. Here you may say, but I want to make an indie game and I basically need to know everything. I should be able to work with blueprints, work on my character, design an environment, make a decent UI, manage the audio and music, and I need to learn all that stuff. Here I have to insist that even in this situation, you need to be able to limit yourself and focus on a specific topic. Learn the basics, make a couple of prototypes of what you have in mind, and then go for learning another topic. I know this looks obvious and very simple, but believe me, 
I know a lot of people that try to learn everything at once. What happens then is that they get frustrated and tired after a short period of time because they cannot get an outcome from what they have learned. On the flip side, if you learn about a topic like environment design and then create something decent which actually works to some extent, it will motivate you to keep forward and even try to uh, learn other topics as well. The mindset that works in these situations is that you need to be okay with not knowing things. There are a lot of features in Unreal that are totally useless for you and you shouldn't worry about being ignorant about them. You only need to focus on what you actually need to achieve your goals in the project and make something that works for you. Another mindset that I think can be very beneficial when it comes to learning is that you don't need to be obsessive about details and making something perfect. I have made tutorials on this channel for about a year and I only get two types of negative comments. The first group is Iranians making fun of my Iranian accent which is very hilarious and the second is people telling me you are not doing it the right way. For instance, they say that the method you are using in this situation will not work in a big project or a more complex scene and it will create bugs and stuff. But here I have to say that I have a different opinion in this situation. I think when you make something and it works, you have done a good enough job for your first step. You don't need to worry about what might happen in the future if you don't use the best method possible to make the thing. 99% of us don't work on million dollar games and projects and we don't need to work with 100% accuracy. If something goes wrong, you almost always have time to go back and fix it. So you don't need to obsess about everything you make and try to implement it using the best method possible. Just make something, test it yourself, and if it works, it works. You are good to go. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. This is how I approach learning complicated things like Unreal and it has served me very well. I would love to know about your journeys in learning Unreal and how you are trying to move forward. Please feel free to share what you think in the comments and I am sure it will help me and others learn a thing or two from what you have to say. Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.